Okay, the last thing that I want to talk about on the Suzuki LTA 50 is the CT uh, power racing kit setup, whatever they call it. It's been a while. Okay, so I bought it. Um, these LTA 50s, you know, come stock with power restrictors and the exhaust and God knows everything else, and they're pretty slow and barely go under their own weight. Um, so if you're any parent out there that actually wants to make it move, this is for you. And CT does have their own video of this kit and goes into a little bit more depth uh, on it and stuff. But from a consumer standpoint, this is what I've come up with. Um, overall, yeah, it's great. It does make a big difference. Um, difference of night and day. Uh, granted, you pay for it, but it does make a big difference. Um, so taking a closer look like at it while I have it apart. Here is their pipe. This is the CT racing pipe. Um, it's the header expansion chamber and the exhaust um, comes with it. And the exhaust is nice. It, it does have some screws uh, here and here to pull it apart so you can repack it. Uh, so that makes it great um, versus just having the pop rivets like this at the back at the front um having those screws so you're not having to drill them out each time and uh, uh that's always a pain um in the kit you get your pipe you send the head in i believe they mill the head you get a piston rings and looking at the other side you get um this machine block of aluminum, which uh, adapts to the k &N air filter. Um, I'll show you here that in a second. And I believe they also give you the jetting with it as well. Uh, after I initially put it together, um, the one thing uh, I noticed is that I would get on it and it didn't seem to want to go, um, go correctly. Uh, it was my main jet was still too small. Um, I ended up going above... Not, I don't remember how much, but above what they had recommended or it came with the kit. And um, I went up another size or so, and it, that was the difference in the world. Now this thing rips around like a rocket ship, um, and it has made it much more fun. And, you know, for the concerned parents, keep in mind, uh, you do have your throttle limiting screw up top. So, you know, if you want to... Um, Let's see, there we go. Right here, a little blurry in the video, but uh, you do have your throttle limiting screw. So if you do do the kit and you uh, want to get the extra power and performance so it'll actually go up a hill, um, you can do that and then you can just turn your limiting down until they get to a point that you, know, you feel they're ready to kind of increase. Um, my eight-year-old... We've had this for a while now. He rides it around at Grandpa's and um, knocks it out of the park. And it has no problem pulling me on any of the elevation changes uh, around the track. I mean, we're not talking, you know, 15% grades like a semi-truck. But, I mean, definitely some grade changes that stock it didn't want to pull itself under its own weight. This thing will pull it just fine now. Um, so, yeah, does the kit cost a little? Yeah, you know, you're going to be out. You're going to be out some coin. Um, they're not cheap. But if you plan on keeping it for any length of time and uh, if you've got more than one um, kid that it can be kind of passed through from one to the next, um, by all means, you know, you'll get your money worth out of it. it it'll be much more fun and they'll want to ride it versus just trying to ride it stock and not really get anywhere. Um, this thing will fall on its face and, and just not do a whole lot. At least that was the experience when I, when I bought it and it was stock. Um, and it had the power restrictors out of it and stuff, and it still just wasn't that much fun. So, um, oh yeah, filter. So, here is, here is the filter that they're using. It's essentially, like it says, a crankcase uh, filter. Inch and a half clamp on. And uh, it also has an outerwear. And if you notice, here's one that's out of the package. Um, it's got, because of it being a crankcase filter, 
um, and close to the motor, it has half of it, you know, kind of covered and shielded, which is great. I mean, that works. Although this is the first time I've washed it and I need to oil this, the, the opened one, I'm guessing I'll be oiling from the inside because I don't know how you're going to get the oil, uh, into the fibers from the outside. Um, so that's it for the filter. Um, I think there's a model number or you can use the the part the barcode right there however that being said you know the the stock oem um air setup is just quite garbage and if you're not spending the money and buying the entire kit this came in the kit uh part of what i struggled with originally trying to not do the power kit but wanting to improve the air filter is what filter am i going to use because there's nothing out there that really is set up and and ready to go um and the 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 key comes into this is is this machined block um that ct is making um i mean unless you have a lathe and the ability to make this block um you're you're kind of sol because uh that's where it's it's clamping onto and um they're making that so as much as, you know, if you just wanted to put a better filter than what it has, which I would, um, I don't know where you're going to get that block right there that's machined unless you've got a shop. Then you're cleared and out of the gate. And uh, all you have to do is go get the uh, filter. And here is the outerwear. Um, it did get uh, some – a little bit chewed up. I ordered some more. Um, probably from it rubbing on that. And, uh, I believe, let's see here. This outerwear filter number is, it's worn off. It's a, uh, 2011-8801. Uh, and I got it from, I got replacement parts at Summit Racing. And it's 15 bucks for the filter and, or for the outerwear and the filter itself will run you 24.95. And so, uh, not a whole lot. I mean, but your biggest hiccup is going to be getting that machine block of aluminum to fit, you know, or not having it. So that being said, um, yeah, uh, overall the racing kit, it's going to set you back, but, um, it's it's worth it if you plan on keeping it, and even when my kids are done and outgrowing it, I'll probably just drain the gas, throw this on a shelf, and keep it for the grandkids because uh, they're getting harder and harder to find. And in another twenty years, yeah, good luck. So, fun little bike, great great for the kids, and a um, lot more fun if you put put the work into it. And we did some, uh, we bought new graphics and new plastics for it. So. You know, I plan on hanging on to it, but fun little bike. All right.